to Down On Fire, we're checking out Kalamdo Courtyard and with me I have the one and only Otara. I'm so happy to have you and this is my first show with her after <laughs> I have started to host for high. Long awaited guest. Thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for having me. You look fabulous as always. That's thank the first you. thing I noticed. Uh, to start with, uh, how is life these days, Otara? I see you out and about on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have been for a while. Um, it's it's good. I mean, it's different, isn't it, for all of us with the whole new uh, new normal and a lot of change and uh, having many months uh, in our homes and uh, different way of working. So getting used to all of that. But uh, yeah, working and uh, enjoying some TikTok and. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming to that. This whole TikTok craze is big for you because I think, not to put you in an older category, but <laughs> from people uh, who have you know founded businesses and like been in that position in our country, they believe like you know you should not be too out there and like doing such fun things. But I always feel like age is not a number for fun. How did you convince yourself to come into TikTok and dance and like have fun with it? Um, well, you know, like I, I'm, I have, I have a following on on social media. Yeah. I've always had, and it's obviously it keeps grow, it's growing. Um, and uh, you know, the only one I was the platform I wasn't on was was TikTok. TikTok. And I was, uh, I was saying like, oh no, I'm not going to get on it. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> I don't think it's right. It's all uh, COVID that brought us. Yeah, there, no? but you know, it's it's a lot of a lot of things in our life are to do with you know we we, we restrict ourselves and put ourselves in boxes and. You know, and um, and just just keep our, you know we just assume that things have to be a certain way uh, because that's what we are told. And you know, I've never been one of those people who um, who sort of follows the usual norm. Um, and um, yeah, and you know, it, I just thought I'll try it because you know it's it's a young audience, and it, I can also you know communicate my messages of of you know animal welfare and uh, entrepreneurship and business and you know all those yeah. things as well to a whole young audience and i know they appreciate it because whenever i put videos like that they really love it yeah and you know i just and it's fun honestly what i never thought say? it would be and well i mean they still <laughs> haven't got on it <laughs> and they won't have they seen you have they yeah, seen they it? like it <laughs> they're, they're fun. you know it's fun <laughs> And it's just having some fun. That's There's great. nothing wrong with yes. having some fun. And honestly, I, I was one of the people who was like very, um, um, you know, very stuck. Uh, what do you say? Like stuck up and like <laughs> very, <laughs> very not for it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, now that I'm on it, I, I, I enjoy it actually. And, and more than that, a lot of others are enjoying it. It doesn't matter what 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 anyone says or or. or you know, there, uh, there will be some, I'm sure, who, who don't like it or don't or don't agree yeah. with it. But then that's the case in anything. It's not to do with TikTok. It's the case <laughs> with anything. And uh, you know, you just have to be who you are, and and just and you know, as long as you are loving it and enjoying it and and having some fun, it, it's it's good okay. to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, follow her. It's actually fabulous content, and I really like the fact that we actually tend to see a lot of things that are Sri Lanka and that's the most important thing. So keeping TikTok away, uh, <laughs> you have been busy throughout. I thought when you said goodbye to one of your biggest brands that you created for our country, I thought you would be like, okay, now it's time for me to just relax and sit in the corner <laughs> and chill, read books or do whatever I love to do. But then you went all the way in with a brand new venture, creating new platforms and keeping, keeping yourself active and busy. Is that what you planned or was it just organic, the, how, how, who we are started? It was just organic really and um, you know, uh, it's very hard for me to, to, not, to not do anything. Not I, to be I, not yeah, busy. I, I can't, not to not be not busy. It's just, it's just how, uh, how I am and it's how I've been for my whole life. Um, and you know, it just gave, gave me like more opportunity and more windows to, to create new things and do new things. Um, so you know, I, I used that time to um, to learn a lot about animals and animal welfare and environment issues and conservation. I traveled around in Sri Lanka a lot, like for two years I, I traveled a lot because during my time in, in the company I couldn't travel in Sri Lanka yeah. because I was traveling a lot overseas. Um, so as a child I used to travel but then you know I couldn't do it obviously while running the business. Um, and uh, so I took that whole time to, to, you know, to really see a lot of Sri Lanka and, uh, you know, meet a lot of people and nice people and visit different 
sort of um, you know cultures and different like you know like the Vedic community mm. and you know uh, yeah I, I, I learned saw you how working to in paddy field. yeah I learned how to how to have a sp paddy yeah. the, the traditional way and you know so many wonderful things so I, I got to do all that and of course I was um, you know campaigning for animal rights and and environment and. Uh, protecting the environment and um, and yeah and then you know I've I've always of course loved uh, loved um, retail and um, and then I, I had embark I still have embark yeah. um, so I was doing the more work with the dogs and the communities and also the brand um, and then uh, you know I, I always wanted to to sort of promote Sri Lankan products and I think it's very important for, um, for us to to grow our own products while mm. we may while we may import or we may bring in other things. Like our products have to be very strong also. So and I've always wanted to do it and um, yeah and actually I wanted to have the event um, for for who we are. The original plan was to have a very big event in mm. Bihara Mahadevi mm. uh, Park and everything was organized and I had sponsors and really good sponsors who were very supportive and we had like 500 people who wanted to oh, participate. Wow. And then, of course, um, yes. yeah. <laughs> close to yeah. One place. So about three weeks before, you know, it was meant to no a month before that we decided to 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 put it on hold. Yeah. Um, so then, subsequently in December, I started the online platform. Digital platform, yeah. amazing. Uh, as you know, we are trying out vegan dishes today because she's here. But I've got a prawn. <laughs> <laughs> Only I have got the prawn. Uh, we're going to see you after the break. Do stick around because I really want to speak about who we are and what you can actually do with this brand, how you can contribute. And if you're someone who is at home and you want to find another way of business, this is a brilliant platform. We'll speak more when we do come back. Do stick around. It's done on fire. some vegan names and it's all here at Colombo Courtyard in conversation with Otara so we're going to speak about who we are uh, it's a new initiative it's all about promoting local you have everything there <laughs> yeah we have a lot of items yeah. from home to fashion to fashion is uh, limited but we have yeah. a lot of batik things and uh, um, kids so do you items, get involved jewelry. in what they produce, or do you just tell them? To a lot of it is what they do. Right. Sometimes um, we d we uh, sort of adjust the colors or, or the quality or the style or something. Right. But m a lot of it we try to keep their creativity and their mm. sort of talent alive. Um, and um, yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of people. There's like already almost uh, almost 350 to 400 on the Windows platform. On um, so it's still very, I mean, it's still new, I mean, new meaning it's now almost a little less than a year, mm. uh, but then half, most of that year was also in lockdown and <laughs> so it's been a very uh, uh, rocky start, but then, you know, I'm quite, I'm kind of used to that also because even when I started Odell, it was during the war, so. Uh <laughs> You're used to yeah. all the challenges that's thrown yeah. at you. Uh, I want to ask you, so if somebody wants to come on board for who we are, what should be the category? How should they join? Um, so usually people email us. We have an email. Um, uh, you know, if you go on the website, there's mm. a place to email for if you want to show your items. Um, so usually people email us there, and then we contact them, and then we have a look at the items. Um, at the moment, we're going. Uh, um, I mean, we are looking at the new items, but uh, we um, we are still um, selecting uh, some new ones. But taking it a little slow for the moment because we have a lot more to put on and mm. you know, on the website and all and it's that. It's not easy. You yeah. have to be photographed as we yes. itemize. <laughs> uh, but I did see a new lineup of Christmas decors that was out. Yes, that it's lovely. They look really cute. That's I love amazing. the decor that's there. It's really, and you know, it's like going back kind of to this sort of authentic type mm. homemade decor. You know yeah. that that we used to. Um, 
um, you know how what we used to do yeah. instead of importing all the you know the plasticky yeah. type things and it, it's it's beautiful and some of the a lot of the Christmas ornaments and table it, they, they're really beautiful I really love it and I, I you know I, I hope a lot of people bought them last year mm. um, so uh, yeah I hope more people will buy buy them and also you know support the small businesses also because they're a lot of them are very very small some are just like individuals in their home yeah. who sit and um, you know, make Are these them. more uh, women oriented uh, entrepreneurship that have come um, forward? Yes, actually, uh, even though it's not, I mean, I'm not uh, uh, cate ca categorizing it like that, but the majority are women actually. Mm. So a lot of women are, it's the, the higher percentage is, is definitely women, maybe about 80% is actually women. So and this is their kind of contribution towards like surviving especially yeah, these and days. Yeah, and it's extra income for them and, yeah. and they are so talented, uh, you know, and they haven't had like a platform to make their products visible and um, you know to sell it and or even market it. Uh, yeah so that's what that's that's what I'm trying to do is to create that sort of platform mm -hmm. and cr give more visibility and better reach we also um, we also send it out internationally we get orders from overseas as well right. um, so we've sent to like um, to Australia to the States to uh, um, to Europe and and uh, so it's still so that's wonderful that yeah. their product but is it's going just on. one and a half years in the space, right? Then I'm not sure even. It's, <laughs> huh? it's, it's, it's not. It's not like even. nine nine months. Oh yeah. wow! <laughs> but it has made an impact. That's yeah. the most important thing. Uh, so that's something for you to check out. So Otara keeps herself busy with a lot of things. Uh, you, uh, I know this few years ago, but you went to name a chimp. A gorilla. A gorilla. Yeah, that was in two. I think that was a mega people yeah, there. Yeah, 2019. Yeah. It was such an amazing what event. What was that all about? Um, so, you know, I was invited by the government of um, Rwanda to, right. to come and, and name a gorilla. Mm. It's a huge festival that they have every year. Of course, okay. they haven't had it in the last year and a half, I think. Uh, but um, it's called Quitazina and it's a massive, massive event they have. Right. Uh, and they're bringing celebrities from all over the world and uh, basically that they want to show the world and showcase their um, wildlife and the, of course the gorillas um, to the world and, and you know, like put it on the map globally. So they invite all these people and they have this huge event. I mean, it's, uh, it was quite amazing. Mm. And yeah, so I got to go and, um, to go and uh, name a gorilla. And of, of course, we got to trek to see the baby as well. Oh, okay. So I named, her, I named him Kira because oh. um, uh, my, son is Kir my sons are Kiran and Rakhil. Okay, so, so you I named joined him. Yeah. And actually, it meant, uh, it meant blessings in, in, uh, oh, really? in their language, which uh. just happened to be that way. <laughs> But you had some uh, mega people with you. There was Naomi Campbell. Uh, yeah, there were others. Lot. I don't remember. I just saw the two of them. <laughs> that's that's fine. <laughs> Let's continue yeah, from there. Yeah, so yeah, it was it was a really great experience. It was yeah. so well organized and it was wonderful. It was yeah. like uh, it took. It was uh, we were there for like a week mm. and um, the, so there was a lot of events and dinners and and of course the the hike uh, for the day to see the gorillas. Um, yeah, it was amazing what, what they do. <laughs> One quick question before we go into a break. Uh, this animal cruelty is something that we have been speaking about for the longest time and people just don't take it serious enough. I even called Utara recently about my neighbor's dog, I hope they're watching. Uh, <laughs> that poor animal just howls throughout the night. We have done everything. We have secretly fed the dog because we see it being so malnourished. Why isn't there a legal system for me to go and demand them to stop doing that? Yeah, How so sadly in take? Sri Lanka the laws are, are very we weak. We are governed by an uh, ordinance from 1907 um, and you know like, like a lot of campaigning and a lot of um, activism to, to pass the animal welfare bill uh, still hasn't happened and it's been like 10 or 12 years I think. Um, and uh, so you know there are a lot of, uh, we have to change our, our, our um, legal system and the laws for uh, for um, you know, on behalf of animals, it's nothing new. The, it's hap it's hap it's happened globally. Mm. You know, animals globally have have a lot of rights and have a lot of laws. You know that that can be used to govern uh, to them. Go yeah, to govern way. them and and to to st yeah, I mean to reduce animal cruelty. Um, so, but here, unfortunately, strain. I, I mean, it's it's very unfortunate that it's not a priority and it's not um, addressed. You know, and because you know it, it means. When those things are happening, it's not really about, I mean, yes, it, of course it is about the animals and the suffering, but it's also about the people. It shows yeah, a very, uh, you know, very unhealthy 
uh, unbalanced um, population that that just is not connected to the suffering of, of another being. Yeah, if you can't so, empathize there, that yeah. means there's something humanly not right with you. Exactly. And that's my opinion. But I think in Sri Lanka, I think lots of, lots of gases have got passed through. I'm sure we all know. But I'm just saying it's very, very important that I think here animals, religion, all of this is so interconnected. It becomes so personal. But who is paying the price for it is are the animals, yeah. unfortunately. All right, we'll get into a break. When we do come back, we're going to be speaking more with this amazing lady. And also, she's the only one in Sri Lanka to have been featured on NAS Daily. We'll speak more about when we do come back. So we decided to stay here because there's an AC and I'm still sweating. Nothing happened to her. <laughs> but we decided this is the comfortable most place for us to be. All right, so final segment. Do you eat sweets? No, I try not to. Eat I, I, no, I, it's wrong. I don't say no. Um, rarely. Rarely. <laughs> rarely. Opposites attract. <laughs> uh, so what, what was I going to speak to you about? The other things are ah, Embark. Now, Embark has, was a passion project which eventually became a project. Yeah. Now it has become a brand. Uh, I was so sad when Nico passed away. I think Nico created a culture for all the street poochers to feel sexy about themselves, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> uneven years were also in fashion. <laughs> so uh, tell me, Embark, did you think that people will fall in love with this movement called Embark? Because everyone wants to have a branded dog because branded dog being the key word, <laughs> as they show status yeah. in society. How do you, how, uh, do you see a change in the way people think? Yeah, I, I mean, I do. Uh, um, yes, I also see, I mean, I see two sides of change. One is, of course, people caring more and, and wanting to make a difference for, for, street, for our own street dogs, our own Sri Lankan dogs. And I also see more people, unfortunately, uh, going after the, you know, the pedigree and, yeah. and that side of things. And uh, I mean, as and we know... And those ones are always ill as well. Yeah, they're always ill. You know, I, when I was younger, I, I actually had pedigree dogs. And I was like oh, regularly in the mm -hmm. bed and you know subsequently I have all, only street dogs and I mean they're just so much more easier to, to take care of and of course as loving and as gorgeous and as beautiful um, and uh, yeah but I mean uh, and you know unfortunately this, the, the bad side of, of pedigrees is the whole industry mm -hmm. and you know how cruel it is and there's a lot of dogs suffering in cages and boxes and just used as breeding machines, puppies in pet shops, you know, it's, it's, it's quite awful actually. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's, it's almost like 15 years now since I started Embark. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the whole idea was to, to make the street dog fashionable because I used to see them on the street and wonder why we didn't care for them, why we didn't love them, why, why they were like um, forgotten really and, and, and so much abuse as well cruelty and abuse people used to um, throw stones at them I mean I used to see it regularly beat them and even though it happens now there's a lot more it's less and also a lot more people have learned to, to care now and yeah. understood why it's important um, so you know I just wanted to give them a platform to be visible and to make them fashionable to own and to get more people to love them and care for them and uh, because I think it's important um, for us to care for our own for for our own dogs, you know, mm. and 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 be kind to them and take care of them. They're very very special dogs, and uh, yes, Nico was was the turning point for me uh, when we adopted. He was with him. you for how many years? He was uh, about thirteen when he died, mm. um, and uh, so actually when we found him on my street, uh, we were going to g I was going to give him away, like I was going to find a home, yeah. and then my son said, no, no, let's keep let's keep him. And then, of course, he stayed, and we changed Nico's life, but Nico also changed my life, <laughs> like, uh, uh, forever. Um, so, yes, and through Nico, so Nico was the brand ambassador, and then joined by Bandit and Rosie, the other two dogs who yeah. I adopted. So they became, like, the characters of the yeah. brand, and, you know, and, um, and everybody knew them, and they used to come for the events, and, uh, you know, and help children. And they were, they were very loving yeah. them towards children, so... People like all the kids love to, to pet them, and you know. Um, so, and Nico was a great ambassador. Like he, he would always, he would he would always like go to the children, and they could do whatever they wanted yeah. with him. Like he would never ever 
uh, be anything but loving. So he was, uh, he was wonderful for his cause. <laughs> yeah, and amazing, yeah. he comes out beautifully in photographs. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah he, was he had yeah. a beautiful smile. Correct. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, Nico always knew that he was the main one. Yeah. The other two were his, he was Diana Ross and they were the <laughs> other two from the Supreme. Yeah, exactly. He didn't care about the others so much. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I wanted to ask you, what is next for this brand called Otara and for the person called Otara? <laughs> um, you know, I've, uh, I guess, you know, I, I keep, I don't know, I keep innovating and changing and evolving as time goes on with different things. Um, and I try to stay, uh, I mean, I stay true to the, the things I believe in and to who I am. And, um, you know, I, I, and I, I always want to try and bring, uh, create awareness and, and use my platforms to bring change for, for good. Um, and change to to a greater uh, um, to a larger community to the country to animals to people and to the environment um, I truly believe we, we need to live in a country where people animals and the environment are equally valued um, and um, and we have to find a way to get there one day um, because I think it's only then where we will really um, you know be a healthy wealthy happy nation for the majority um, and uh, so you know everything I do is uh, even in a small way trying to try to contribute um, you know that towards message. making that change and towards that message be it animals or people or environment um, so even with my business and entrepreneurship uh, I mean I try to improve people's lives and then give them uh, an opportunity to to reach a larger audience and improve their uh, you know uplift their lives um, and I speak for animals and I, 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 <laughs> I, I try to to make a difference there and to create more awareness. Um, so I'll continue doing that. And um, honestly, I don't know. Um, like I never thought I'll start Whovia as well. So let's see what comes up, you know, Amazing. next year. <laughs> uh, but although we are not like in the US or living the whole uh, Beverly Hills life, Colombo is kind of a very small <laughs> version of trying to be that. How do you survive? How do you keep your head above the water? How do you get? How do you not get entangled with things? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, of, of course I've it lived. It can be a ruthless place. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, you know, I've lived in in Colombo, and I've, I've obviously I was born here, and I've lived here most of my life, um, and you know, I just. I just I'm so busy doing my you yeah. know what I'm doing Correct. and <laughs> and I you know and that, so a lot of my time goes you know in, in whatever I'm involved in um, and my companies and my staff and you know I have a lot of things happening each day and of course the animals and everything um, and you know I just I don't know I just stay true to who who I am and I, I just try not to uh, to let you know comments or what people say or you you know what people say and what people do that uh, is, is really is really there you know it's, it's, it's each one's thing it's not it's not up to you know it doesn't it doesn't mean it if it's it's against you um, so as long as you are true to who you are and you believe in what you do and everything you do is for the good for the greater good of all um, I mean I, I don't think there's anything to to worry about and just enjoy where you're living and where you're born and and I have a lot of good friends and a lot of people I know, of course, in Sri Lanka and Colombo. And yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> amazing. All right. So do follow on TikTok. Check out our video with Naz Daily. It's amazing. I was so proud as a Sri Lankan to see one of our own uh, people being spoken about. They have spoken about the whole world. <laughs> and you were the, oh, well, so far the first to be picked. And it's amazing. Uh, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much for joining Thank me you for on Down on me. Fire. Mm, Will, I'll at least make it a little bit of this. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. Be safe until we catch you with another episode.